guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are gonna plan it has been forever since I've done a planning video it's been forever since I've planned put it that way um I think probably the last time I planned I made a video about it so go back and figure that out it's been a while um okay so I covered up some things here that are relative to other people in the family and so I'm not gonna put their business out online so that's why that's covered up like that. Um, anyway, I haven't planned in forever. So I thought, since, you know, I'm trying to get my life back in order. <laughs> that's, it, it's been a process. Um, that I need to get back to some routines that were really helpful for me. And planning is definitely a routine that was very helpful for me. Um, nowadays, I come running back to this book uh, right before I go to bed. And I think a lot of it has to do with that when I look at what I have scheduled that week, it overwhelms me. So I tend to not look at it until the very last minute. So that's kind of how I've come up with that. Um, it's made me feel better doing it that way, but here's the big but. I've been missing appointments. I've been, even if I get a reminder, I've been known to miss an appointment. So. This is what I need to do, and I think that I need to sit down and plan, but then after I get done planning, I need to go and like de-stress or do something really super relaxing so I don't carry that with me. I think that's what's going on is that I feel so overwhelmed when I plan because I know that I have a lot going on in my life, and so then I just don't plan. Well, then if you don't plan, you're bound to miss appointments and not know what's going on, so... Let's get back to planning, but I also have an idea. When I get done with this video, I purposely waited to take a shower because I wanna go in there and use some new body wash that I bought, and I know that might sound silly, but that's like a super big thing for me as scents. I love new candle smells, new perfume smells, new body wash, and so that's gonna be like my little reward to myself. So, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna do November, and then I'm gonna do next week <clears throat> I can't believe we're coming up on Thanksgiving so soon um I feel like it was just summertime just summertime so I've got some Dollar Tree wall stickers that I'm going to be using today this is going to be like the main focus of my layout and are these not gorgeous fall colored flowers Aren't they beautiful? And it's just the um, dollar decoration, dollar decorator. Um, so then I went through and I picked out this matches it. I don't know if I'm going to use it. It's just a four by six card. Um, a couple scraps of paper that I thought I might use. So here was what else I was debating on whether doing an art journal spread today or planning. And so ultimately, I'm going to do both. <laughs> so I've got some um, paper here. I've got a couple of these that kind of go with the, the theme of the stickers. They've got kind of some of the same colors. And then I'm also going to be using some stamps today. So let me turn that off. That was rude. Okay, sorry about that. Let me turn my phone off. Um, and I also have a little bowl here that I grabbed um, some stickers. This is just a little, you know, accent piece. Another little accent piece. Here are two washies that I grabbed, red and gold. Well, that's not even gold, that's like a bronze. And then just some little stickers here. So, we are gonna get to planning. Um, I thought about doing two separate spreads, but that would be silly. I'm not doing two different themes. Um, let's see. What I wanted to do was I wanted to stamp out my um, days of the week. And then that way I'm just going to cut them out and use them like that. So a couple weeks ago, I went through all of my stamps. I'll just show you real quick. I won't make it a big deal and make the whole video about it. So I went through my stamps, right? And I had these little um, CD cases from some CDs that I got with an old computer. 
And I thought this is the perfect size for a lot of my stamps. Like this one is from the Dollar Tree and this is the typical size that the Dollar Tree ones were coming on. So I have a whole bunch in this size. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna reuse these as my stamp holders because I was having a hard time keeping my stamps in order. Oh, sorry, the ring light's reflecting. Probably blinding you guys. Anyway, just a little idea to throw out there that if you have any of these CD cases, um, maybe from you know, old computers, you know how you used to be able to burn like music on it. Um, then they're great for, for this. Now, like these, I just went ahead and took a sheet protector. I cut it down to size. I put a nice piece of um, a thicker card scrap in here and just, I store these like this. Um, these are too big to fit into one of those CD cases, and I know I have much larger ones too, so I really just cut the sheet protector down to size, I taped it up, and then just put something sturdy in it, and I file them vertically, so. All right, so what I wanna do is get these stamped out, and that way I can cut them out and use them. Okay, so we got those stamped out. Let's go ahead and cut them out and they'll be all ready for us also. So this is just another um, little way I like pre-plan. Well, not pre-plan for planning, but pre-plan for any kind of project. So I like to get all of my pieces together and then start putting everything together. I know some people just kind of go with it. Like I've seen people who get out the books um, of stickers while they're on camera and they go flip through them and pick. I used to be able to do that. I can't because it stresses me out. <laughs> I feel like I'm on, um, I feel like I'm like in competition to see how fast I can pick them out when I'm trying to video myself do it. So yeah, that's why I don't do that. And I pre-plan everything because if I waited to do this um, until I got to it, I would feel like I was wasting time doing it. But when I pre-plan and do it, I don't feel like I'm wasting time. I feel like I'm actually saving myself time. How does that make sense? It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. <clears throat> so, it's kind of weird for me to be doing this video on a Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's kind of weird for me to be doing this video on a Tuesday because I always do it on a Monday. And I usually do that week, but this this time, this video I'm gonna do next week. Um, I feel like this week is already halfway through. So I'm not gonna do a planning video on a week that's halfway through. Another little tip is get you a little trash can. Get you a little tabletop trash can. Um, it doesn't even have to be a trash can, it can just be a bowl. You know how when you're watching cooking shows and they have a scraps bowl? Always make sure you have a scraps bowl or a garbage can for your crafting table. Um, Otherwise, you're gonna end up vacuuming up a lot of junk because if you let it on your desk for too long, trust me, it's gonna end up on the floor. So always, always, always have one of these um, little tiny trash cans or a scraps bowl. It saves you from cleaning up a whole bunch later. Okay, I cut those out. All right. So these go in my little bowl over here because I'm not quite ready for those yet. Um, I'm gonna lay some tape on this, not much. You guys know I don't try to overdo the month at a glance because I depend on the month of a, at a glance to you know, remind me of when my appointments are 
and so I don't like to go overboard on decorating whereas of my weekly spreads I kind of use for decorating I kind of use it as like I said I was kind of in the mood to do junk journal spread but um, or art journal but I chose to do planning so I'm gonna kind of make the week one a little bit busier than I would make this month spread I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. That's the way my brain works. Sometimes I don't understand the way my brain works. Which, incidentally, is a very, very interesting topic, how our brains work. Because you can take two different people, put them in the same situation, and then ask them, hands not working right now. Gosh darn it. Sometimes my hand just like loses all ability to like hold on and like I can't. All right, that's as good as it's going to get. Another thing I've had to be okay with is things not being perfect. Um I know I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry. Things uh, are not always perfect when I do them nowadays because of uh, my lack of ability to control my muscles sometimes. So I can tell my right hand's a little bit weaker today, so I'm just going to have to give myself grace. Some days are better than others, and I don't know why. I really don't. I have no idea. None of any of this makes sense. None of any of my symptoms make sense, so... I've actually kind of learned just to, it, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Like it took me, what, a year to be okay with not knowing exactly what's wrong with me. So, I don't even know what else to say. So, I am behind the scenes. I've made this video uh, three times already talking about this one specific thing I'm going to talk about, but I never posted them. I don't like to be a salesperson because I'm not a salesperson. Um, I don't have a problem with salespeople. My husband is a salesperson. He does flooring and he sells his products. He sells himself. He sells his ability to do flooring and construction. I have no problem with people selling themselves. I don't like doing it. I have a really hard time with it. So when I come up with ideas for like my Etsy shop, like I'm going to talk to you about, trust me, it, I, I cringe even having ideas because I'm always afraid that people are going to think, oh, she's just trying to get money out of her subscribers. And I would never want you guys to think that because I don't want your money. The only thing that I need is the ability to pay for a little bit of my time. As I've said before, I would never discount my time because my time is worthy just like everybody else's time. But I don't, I don't charge. My husband yells at me, put it that way. My husband yells at me when I price products because he's like, yeah, I've seen you work hours and hours on that. You're making $3 an hour. And he gets really upset and I just have to tell him, you know, number one, I love doing it. So it's not that I don't think my time is worthy. It's just I feel satisfaction from actually making the product. So then when people purchase my product, that's like an extra bonus for me. So um, anyway, I... I want to include things in my Etsy store um, that I, I can, you know, give to you at a reasonable price where I've got shipping is a big thing. I'm just going to say that shipping is huge. Um, when I put out Happy Mail, it's not even that much. Whoops, hold on one minute. Okay. So when I put products out, in my Etsy store, I try really hard to keep the cost down. I, I, I really lowball um, 
my time because like I said, I enjoy doing it. So I feel like it's therapeutic just to do it. But I can't lowball the shipping. So when I put out Happy Mail this last time, it wasn't even a lot. It, I mean, it, it was a good amount of, of Happy Mail in each envelope. And I made the envelope so they were, you know, a bigger size. And they were, you know, thick cardstock because I wanted everything to be safe in there for shipping. So it came out to about 5 or $6 for each envelope. And I love doing Happy Mail. That's why I do it. But I would love to afford to be able to give more Happy Mail because I have so much to share with friends. I have so much ribbon. I have so much buttons. First did I say so many buttons, so much buttons. What am I in kindergarten? Um, I have so many buttons to share. I have ephemera and cut-aparts like you would not believe. I have I just have bins and baskets of cut aparts that I've sat down at, um, you know, at night or during the day when I haven't felt well, I'll sit on the couch and I'll cut out images out of magazines. That's a free ephemera right there, especially if it's not a magazine that you bought. Um, oh, I don't want to rip it. That was close. Anyway, especially if it's a magazine you didn't buy, like those free magazines that you get in you know, a commercial or an ad, not a commercial, that's on TV. An ad could have, you know, a picture of a flamingo next to a pool. Cut that flamingo out. You can use the flamingo, you know? So I have all of this stuff to share with you. I always pick up napkins. So I have probably 20 different seasonal napkins and I can't possibly use all those. I like to have all the different varieties that I can choose from, but I can't possibly use all of it. So this is where this idea comes in. And again, I, I hate being a salesperson, but I'm not trying to be a salesperson. I was thinking of doing a Patreon and I've really researched it because I don't do anything without researching thoroughly because I'm kind of crazy like that. So. I've researched thoroughly and I've seen other creators that have done it. And if you don't know what Patreon is, the way that I would explain it, my explanation of Patreon would be, it's a community for artists to share their art form, whatever it may be, with the community and receive a commission or I consider it, you know, covering, like me personally, I'm gonna try to do happy mail and I'll explain it, but I, my goal is to cover my shipping costs. That's what my goal of each um, like tier that you can become a member of. So this is how it goes. So Patreon, you go to Patreon and you'll look up Chaotic Mom, I'll send you the link, whatever. Um, and you, it's a subscription program. And so you subscribe to um, a tier, and I'm gonna have three, I'm actually gonna have four tiers. Um, the first tier is going to be, um, sorry about that. The first tier is gonna be a $5 tier. I wanted to have a really reasonable priced year for some oh that's gonna cover up the word November I can't do that I wanted to have a really reasonably priced tier so that way um, everybody in our little community could have you know the ability to be in this community um so this is where we are here I'm pretty happy with it actually because again I stay very um, I stay minimal I don't really have a lot going on. Uh, Thanksgiving is on the 24th. So I think I'm going to put this in here with some washi tape because that would be great to start making my list for Thanksgiving dinner and what I need. So I'm just gonna put this right, huh? just like that. And then I'll just put a little bit right here. 
So I have the breakdown of uh, the different tiers that I'm gonna do. And I'll read them off to you in a second. I don't even know where I put the paper. So, there you go. That way when I'm sitting back here doing my, um, doing my crafting, if something pops into my mind about what I need to pick up or something I want on the menu, then I'll just pop over here and write it down. Got a little bit of area right here too. Perfect. All right, let's go to our weekly spread, which is going to be the week of Thanksgiving. Like I said, I just, I can't even believe that it's already that time. Okay, so let me read off quickly my ideas for this uh, Patreon. Oh, that's not it. <clears throat> All right, so the first tier would be $5. And for the first tier, it's called the Saturday Afternoon Crafter. And in this tier, you'll receive a personal note from me in a cute card or postcard that would be great for altering. So the little note, it's not just gonna be, oh, hi, how are you this month? I wanna go over what's gonna be happening on the YouTube channel for that month, what's going on in the Etsy shop for that month. And that way, you guys who are subscribed to actually any of these tiers, and you'll understand, will be the first one to know about any products going into the Etsy store. You guys will have a notification on Patreon um, 48 hours before anybody else gets to see the product and it goes on Etsy. So you guys will have first dibs on all the products that go on Etsy. Um, the second thing is going over uh, ideas. If you guys wanna throw me ideas on YouTube videos, I'd be more than happy to fulfill any ideas. If you wanna throw out you know, a color-themed art journal spread, if you wanna throw out you know, a theme, do you guys wanna see Beauty and the Beast art journal spread? That was an example. Um, then you guys can do that and I'd be more than happy to do that. So it's not just a cute little note from me saying, oh, hey guys, love Chaotic Mom. That would be silly. I wanna communicate with you guys. I want to build our community here and I think that's basically what I want to do out of all of this I want our community to build because I stepped back for almost two years I've been stepping back and in that two years I lost a lot of connections with you guys and that makes me really really sad so I want to get back into being active in a community and I think with this happy mail and um you guys having access to things before they come out on Etsy, you guys having access to give me ideas, your input on uh, YouTube videos, I think that that would really, you know, build up our community. So anyway, that's the first one. And you also get on the first tier, one page of digitals. So um, every month I will put together a page of digitals, whether it be a digital tag piece that I put together or ephemera or maybe I made some digital paper, you know, um, aged paper or a themed paper, a bunny rabbit or something. Um, anything. It could be anything. And so that's included in the first tier. The second tier is called the All Weekend Crafter and it's $7.50 a month. And it includes all of the stuff in the first one, plus a mini five-piece junk journal kit, which could be ribbon, fussy cutting, buttons, um, yarn, whatever, stamped images, uh, what else do I have in here? Gems, uh, all sorts of vintage ephemera. Again, remember you guys, I have tons and tons of 1903 Saturday Evening Posts. I have tons of 1945 National Geographics. I have a lot of stuff to share with everybody. So that would be the second tier. The third tier is called the Everyday Crafter. It's $15 a month. You get everything from the other two tiers, plus you get one handmade piece of ephemera. It could be a new tag, a collage piece, a decorative pocket, um, something that I've made. So that's the um, last tier there. Now, those tiers are only available to US residents and I hate doing that. So I decided to make a fourth tier. 
The fourth tier is going to be for my international friends. And it's actually going to be $27 a month. And you get everything that the everyday crafter will get. And the reason, of course, is because I have to pay for that extra shipping. And the extra shipping has been ridiculous lately. I don't know how people are doing it, honestly. I've seen quite a few people who have done international packages, like for Happy Mail, and I don't, I don't know how they're doing that because when I go to get a box um, estimated to ship out, it's still really expensive. So I haven't even mailed out my um, Happy Mail from two years ago, right before um, the 2020. It's been almost three years. I literally still have Happy Mail to mail out because it's to an international friend and I was just quoted like $75 to mail it out and I can't do that. So my point is, is that unfortunately the last tier will be the most expensive at $27 and it's basically just allowing me to cover that shipping to my international friends. So enough about that. I haven't made it go active yet. Okay, I've got it all planned out on my Patreon site because like I said, I'm a psycho planner. Um, so I will let you guys know when it goes active. And that way you guys can head over there and take a look at it, see if it's something you'd be interested in. If it's not then we will continue to be friends right here on YouTube. The Patreon is really just a super duper extra and a way for me to be able to afford to share all my goodies with everybody, but I completely understand if that's not an option for people because I know how hard it is right now and it sucks and I'm so sorry. I know how expensive things are right now, and I know that the dads and the moms are busting their butt, and the, you know, whoever's running the budget in the house, they're trying to figure out how to scrape up money to be able to afford to feed everybody. Never mind all the extras that come along. <clears throat> like, you know, more expensive gas, more expensive this, more expensive that. I mean, everybody's seen an increase in everything. <clears throat> so my point is, I would completely understand if you didn't sign up for Patreon. But I wanted to keep it little, you know, cost effective. Maybe it's something you could do for yourself every month. Or, um, you know, an alternative to that is just to take... Just to take a couple couple dollars every week and go up to your Dollar Tree and just pick up a couple items. So that's more how I built my stash than anything. I did, of course, I utilized the Goodwill, went up there a couple times and got yarn and fabric. But the way I built up most of my stash is just by, oh, I don't know if my hand's going to do this today. It's kind of jumpy. It's just by going to the Dollar Tree and picking up, oh, I got a new set of stickers. Oh, I got a new stamp set. Oh, I they came out with an ink pad. Oh, they've got some ribbon that I really like. So... Um, before you know it, if you just take $5 a week, $3 a week, $5 a week, whatever you can afford, and go up in there and buy two or three items, because of course now that it's $1.25 plus tax, they're ripping you off, but anyway. Um, take it on up there, and... Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Nope. That ain't working.
So that is it for this video. I'm just going to finish decorating this one page right here. It was kind of chatty. I hope that you guys like chatty videos like this because I plan on doing a lot more. So I will see you in the next video. Um, take care. Bye-bye.